I'm Matthew Blakemore. I think today is all about really opening up the conversation to people who are both creative and technical, giving them the opportunity to speak and kind of give their perspective on this challenge. The question is, how can we ensure that, that human creativity persists in the future? I'm Isabel Doran. I'm the current CEO of the Association of Photographers. What would I like as an outcome from today? I'd really like to see our policymakers really considering creators and the creative industries. The United Kingdom has an incredible creative industry. It, you know, the creators are so expressive. We produce amazing work. Again, I think it often gets forgotten about. My name is Mark Milstein. I am the co-founder and director of business development at Visual. And speaking about the ethics of data acquisition, data processing, and data licensing. When it comes to generative models, when somebody says, this is a brilliant output, I love the way it looks, the fidelity to photography is simply amazing. First question should be, where did you get your training data from? Did you license that content from content creatives, photographers, videographers? Did you scrape that data? And if you did, why? Don't you know that that's wrong? Don't you also know that, that the general outputs are going to be legally toxic? My name's Liam Budd. I work for Equity as the industrial official for streaming platforms and synthetic media. Today I've been talking on a really interesting panel alongside industry specialists, talking about the impact of AI and what we can do as an industry to respond to that rapid development and what we can propose to policymakers to deliver structural change. There's lots of discussion around the value of the creative industry and the huge input it has to our economy but also to society more broadly and how we need to ensure that AI is used as a tool to support the creative process but not replace it.